Returning to my coin lady channel, I want to say hello to all of you. At this point, how near are we to receiving the settlement? I have some intriguing news to share, something we've discussed for what seems like an eternity, about a large donation to John Deaton and whether or not you're holding XRP. In a short amount of time, this can turn positive. Yet XRP now, Brad Garland has been, as usual, fairly forthright about how he feels about the deal. Biden has apparently dropped out now. Additionally, in November, consider the possibility that Gary Gensler may resign upon Biden's removal from office. I believe the fifth one is when the US elections roll around, is it possible that Gary Gensler will resign before then? If so, that would be great, but in the end, Brad Garland House will come out and say that Ripple's CEO wants regulation and clarity, and he has stuck by that sentiment the whole way through. Lastly, the CEO cannot comment directly on the SEC vs Ripple litigation settlement, but he was cited as suggesting that a resolution will be forthcoming shortly, which is crucial to note. His questioning of those topics during a Bloomberg interview is well documented. At the moment, it's like this new token trade, you can either say anything in the respite sphere or nothing at all, and things are generally going downhill. Therefore, I am still of the opinion that we are really near to a settlement but we are not yet certain. The intriguing thing is that the truth becomes apparent when you consider the potential outcomes involving Judge Annalisa Torres. The decision to conclude this case is ultimately hers to make. Both sides must consent to the settlement agreement. Subsequently, it is she who essentially declares that we are through. Thus, allow me to merely transport you back in time a bit. Annalisa Torres's comment or response regarding her nomination for the position of U.S. District Judge for the Southern District of New York. And I'd like to bring you back to the second question she was asked, what guarantees can you provide that litigants who appear before your courts will be handled equitably, notwithstanding their socioeconomic status, political leanings, or side in the case? In light of everything that has transpired, I find our answer to be quite intriguing. If confirmed, I would continue to apply the same standards of fairness and impartiality that I established during my 13 years of service as a state judge in New York, where I presided over cases without regard to the plaintiff's or defendant's political affiliation, socioeconomic status, or other factors. Ignoring your identity, everything she says is fair and consistent. I will consider all of the evidence and base my decision on it. Gary Gensler resigned, and this is a crucial piece of information to keep in mind as we consider the case as a whole. Additionally, there is a someone who has a strong bias regarding this matter. Considering the current state of affairs in politics, I believe it is important to take note of that. There has been a complete paradigm shift, with many pro-crypto supporters, and it has come to light that John Deaton is running against Elizabeth Warren for the U.S. Senate. Are you ready for this? John Deaton, a Republican running for Senate against Elizabeth Warren, has received a million dollars from Ripple. What we have here is quite fascinating. John Deaton, a prominent lawyer and crypto advocate, received $1 million from Ripple, a blockchain-based digital payments network, which was given to a candidate in the Massachusetts Republican Party's Senate primary. Okay, this is a major deal. In addition, Elon Musk donated, and the person who, as far as we can tell, split their currency while simultaneously securing their guy in the house through Ripple. I find it quite intriguing. That is the reason behind the slight upswing in XRP price. At this elevated level of consolidation, it is clear that we were somewhat dragged down by those Ethereum and ETF news. But I believe we're in for a really good shift, so keep an eye out. However, I believe a settlement is on the horizon regarding XRP. If it doesn't arrive by Friday, I'll take a chance on the following week, specifically, on Wednesday, the 31st, which is a week from tomorrow, to see if this settlement comes in. In fact, I think it's possible we might see it this week. We can now see if their ETFs are going live soon. Post your thoughts here, and I will hear from you. This is bullish, in my opinion. For my part, I can't wait. In my ideal world, Donald Trump would be president, John Dietz would be elected to the Senate, and there would be a rippling settlement for Ethereum. I mean, with this impending bull market, what could possibly go wrong? 
234 XRP, priced at $8, $50,000 it seems like Bitcoin is getting closer by the day. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.